I became interested in this field while I was still a medical student uh, at Baylor College of Medicine, working under the direction of Dr. DeVakey. We had uh, a rotation on surgery with Dr. DeVakey in which I uh, had a patient, a young Italian boy, who was here from Italy with his mother, very nice young man with rheumatic heart disease. The surgery was performed the next day, and I was an assistant in the surgery. He initially did well, but later that evening, his heart stopped. I was massaging the heart after we opened the chest, and as long as I massaged the heart, the boy was even awake and reached up toward me briefly before he was sedated at one time. But we couldn't start the heart and had to... Uh, abandon our efforts to save this young man. And it seemed to me if my heart, if my hand could keep this boy alive, we should be able to make a device that would do the same thing. And of course, uh, it, and it was you know, a painful experience uh, losing that young boy. And of course, uh, uh, said I'll never still hear his mother's crying. So it's, it, it turned out to be a lot harder than we thought. But I think, of course, jump forward 40 years, I uh, is literally it's a little over, uh, it's, well, I guess it was 40 years, yeah, from the time that uh, we had, you know, this young girl that, uh, that's done so well. So we took her to the uh, operating room and opened her chest, and I was massaging her heart because her heart had stopped by then. And was, we massaged it externally. Then I opened it, and I was massaging it while my assistants uh, put put her on the heart lung machine through the uh, using the blood vessels in her leg. And uh, and we took a, another pump off the shelf and put it in, and, and uh, the heart started beating again, and she recovered. And as uh, it's been a year, over a year since then, she's functioning normally and just got married, and just a happy young 21-year-old uh, girl who's looking forward to a long life, which I hope she'll have. And, uh, and I think it's, it's uh, sort of the end of about a 40-year you know, odyssey in that regard, uh, starting with this poor Italian boy that we couldn't do anything for 40 years ago, and um, working for the idea of something we could pull off the shelf and, and uh, be life-saving, and, and we've, we've done that. So. Well, I think uh, they're important for medicine because if the purpose of medicine is to alleviate uh, and, and uh, alleviate suffering and cure disease if possible, and if you can't alleviate the suffering, and, and they do both. You know, they're, these pumps, the bulk of these patients we have are, are young patients. They're young patients and the deaths are premature deaths. And I think that's something that the general population doesn't appreciate. To be able to address those, we need a better way of supporting the heart than a transplant. Well, uh, as you've seen, these patients can generally do uh, anything they want to do. I think if anybody had seen this young girl at her wedding dancing and, and uh, jumping around and doing all the things you do uh, at weddings, you wouldn't have known she had anything. 